Coverage right now, the pandemic has created many challenges for road crews this year, but the governor and state transportation leaders say Connecticut is ready. Chief Capital reporter Susan Rapp is live at the DOT garage in Weathersfield with all of those details. And Susan, I bet a busy day there for them today. A very busy day. In fact, we had a chance to speak to some of the DOT workers today. They went home at the end of the day to get some rest, but they tell us they're going to be camped out here until Friday until this storm is over. And yes, there have been challenges with this storm, and it's all because of the pandemic. Many of their workers are out sick because of it, and so the state had to hire more contractors. We will be seeing a lot of this over the next couple of days. Connecticut is preparing for what could be a monster snowstorm. All of the state's 634 trucks are ready to roll. We've been watching this and you know the, there's a number of times we look at storms and we say is it really going to be that serious and all the indicators right now are showing that this thing could drop anywhere from 12 to 18 inches on us and it could be a heavy steady snowfall that's coming at us. But making the job a little harder, 100 DOT workers are now out sick because of COVID. So 200 independent contractors have been hired to fill in. Normally, the timing of the storm would be difficult because it's during the week when people are working. But more people are working from home these days because of the pandemic. However, the governor says if you are one of those people who are still going to work. Stay safe, stay home uh, to everybody that doesn't have to travel starting, um, you know, late uh, Wednesday night when it starts snowing, don't. Uh, let the amazing guys from DOT do their work. Uh, if you're on a road, you're on a hill, you spin out, you slow down, that can stop a snow plow, that can create traffic, that can take a, a guy uh, off the battlefield when we need them uh, working uh, around the clock. We asked the governor if he felt that there would be any impact that could delay the delivery of some of the vaccines that have been coming to hospitals this week. He said he did not think that would happen, but he did express some concern that maybe it would make it harder for healthcare workers to get to the hospitals to get their vaccines. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, there could be a silver lining, new technology that's being used for the first time in this snowstorm, which could make it easier and hopefully better to clear the roads. We are live in Weathersfield. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.